Hello, uh, again this is section 8.7, uh, we will be continuing this uh, section, now we'll be here solving uh, logarithmic functions, alright, so uh, the previous video I was sol I solved uh, an exponential function and, and this one I'll be solving uh, logarithmic functions. Now before we start solving a logarithmic function, we need to know uh, the, the idea of which I have done and, and one, one videos before. Uh, let me just review that again. Let's say uh, if we have a log base a of b is equals to c. And now we, we want to change this logarithmic function to an exponential function. Or let me just write xp. All right. So xp, xp function or exponential function. So now the idea uh, here is uh, if you remember uh, whenever you change a log function to an, um, an exponential function you need to move this thing on the base here to the base of an exponential function all right so now once you change this logarithmic function to an exponential function well the idea is we don't want any uh, log anymore so we just want to get rid of log so when you move this a up there or to this side, well, on left hand side, we will just have b. We'll just have this b. All right, so just b on left hand side is equals to, after you move that a uh, to the right, so that a will be the base of an exponential function, and this c will move to the top or to the power. All right, so this is. So now this is an exponential function. All right, so this is the idea uh, we will be using uh, to solve this logarithmic function. All right, so we need to know how to change from a log function to an exponential function. All right, so you, we need to, you need to know this uh, process. All right, so uh, let's start with the, this example. Let's say if we have log base 2 of x is equals to 3, and we want to solve for x. All right, so now uh, the idea here is, again, just like I did before, you need to move this. Uh, we are trying to solve, all right? So uh, we need to move this to here to the base. So on, on left-hand side, we just have x, just x. And on right hand side this 2 will go to the base all right so the 2 will go to the base remember this it it is not going to go to the power 2 will go to the base and this 3 will go to the power all right all right then after this x is equals to 2 to the power 3 is 8 there you go all right since we're trying trying to solve for x and we got the value of x okay so the next one all right so log base 4 of 7x plus 1 is equals to 3 Excuse me. So in this one, again, just like we did before, we want to move this for to this side to the base. So on left hand side, we will have this thing seven x plus one. All right, seven x plus one is equals to. Uh, 4 to the power 3. 4 to the power 3. Alright. So uh, we know that 4 to the power 3 is uh, 64. And then subtract 1 on both sides. So we get 7x is equals to 63 
and then uh, divide 7 on both sides. So x is 9. All right. All right, so the next one is... Like this, 5 of x plus 7 is equals to log base 5 of 2x plus 3. All right, so in this case, now we have 2 log, right? We have 2 log. So if we have a, just a log on each side, just a log on each side, no other terms. So we have just log, just log terms on, on left hand side and also just log on right hand side. We don't have any other terms, right? Uh, the, so we have log log, right? So in this case, if we have log on each side or just log on each side, then we can just get rid of log. So basically we can just get rid of log and we will just have uh, the remaining terms. So the remaining terms are x plus 7 is equals to 2x plus 3. All right, so there you go. So after you get this, you can solve for x, right? So um, move this 3 or subtract this 3 on both sides. So we will get, um, this will be gone. So x plus 4 is equals to 2x subtract x on both sides so 4 is equals to x so or x is equals to 4 all right so you can only apply or you can only apply this idea i said if we have just just log on each side just log so let's say another one uh where we say Where we say now we have one plus all right so so in this case now uh, on left hand side we have just log right we have just log but on right hand side uh, we have a log with this extra term one. So in this case, now in this case, you cannot, you cannot just cancel log. All right, just because of this extra term one. All right. Uh, I was able to do this uh, cancel here because we have just log on each side. Now for this one, we don't have just log on each side. We now, in this case, we have the extra one, so you cannot apply that. So for this one, uh, we need a different approach. So what we're going to do here is we need to uh, uh, combine uh, log these two logs somehow. You need to combine these two logs somehow, all right? So to do that, uh, well, we can just subtract. Let's say if I want to move this log to... oops. If I want to move this log to other side, then I can just subtract log of <coughs> x, log of x in both sides, right? So this way, now this positive log of x and this negative log of, of x will be gone. So on left hand side, we will just have log of x plus 9 minus log of x is equals to 1. All right. Now what we're going to do. Okay, so now we again, we have 2 log, right? So we have 2 log with minus in the middle. All right, so if you guys remember, if we have... If we have a, a two log, let's say log of m minus log of n. So in this case, we have two log, right? We have two log with a minus sign, then 
I can combine this to a single log and we divide we divide these two terms when you combine this to a single log m over n all right so we got to use uh, the same idea here we have two log and uh, now we need to combine this to a single log so log of now we divide this x plus 9 over x so x plus 9 over x is equals to 1 all right now now um just like we did here after this we change this to an exponential function so we move this the base to this side right so here we have to do the same idea but on the base we don't see anything right so we don't see anything here in the base so if if there is nothing on the base it's always it's always 10. all right so you don't have to write it if, if the base is 10 all right it will uh, automatically be 10 all right so if there is nothing on the base it's that means it's 10. all right so now you can move this 10 to this side um so on left hand side we we just have x plus 9 over x is equals to on right hand side it will be 10 to the power of 1 or just 10 right okay so now now so we have uh let me just write that the last thing here again All right, so now after this you can do or you can just uh, multiply x on both sides all right so this way this x and this x will be gone so on left hand side we just have x plus 9 which equals to 10x and then divide or sorry um subtract x on both sides so on left hand side we have now 9 is equals to because these two are gone right so on left hand side we have 9 is equals to 9x and if you divide now 9 on both sides x is equals to 1 all right so yeah you, you need to uh know this property so if you have two log with the minus sign right minus sign in the middle then you can combine this to a single log uh, but uh, when, whenever you combine this to single log you need to divide these two terms all right that's the idea now um, log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 2 is equals to 3. All right, now again, you have two log, this log and this log. I see that most of the students just try to cancel uh, just log. Just They just try to cancel uh, log. You cannot do that, all right? Uh, just, that's not possible, all right? So the idea is, again, we have two log, right? So if we have two log with now with the plus sign, if we have two log with the plus sign, then we can combine this to a single log with the with a single log log base 2 and and multiply these two terms right x and x minus 2 all right so if we have a minus then we can divide if we have a plus we multiply so x times x minus 2 is equals to 3 all right 
and log this two of now distribute this x so x square minus 2x is equals to 3 all right so again we have this log now we can uh, move this to to this side to the base all right we have a log so we can move that to to the other side to the base so on left hand side we just have x square minus 2x is equals to 2 to the power 3 so x square minus 2x is equals to 2 to the power 3 is 8 okay now we are since we are trying to solve for x we are not done yet all right so we're trying to solve for x okay so uh, we have x square minus 2x is equals to 8 right now uh, the well since we have a square right x square here so um, this is a quadratic uh, for our equation so let's try to solve this uh, well there are lots of different ways let's try to solve this by uh, AC method so let's just move this a to the other side so x square minus 2x so when we move that to the other side it will be minus 8 is equals to 0 so now we have uh, we can use AC method so uh, 1 times 8 is 8 so oops, 8 times 1 4 times 2 so we can use 4 and 2 right so the first term and the last term will be the same is equals to 8 so now instead of writing negative 2x Instead of writing negative 2x using 4 and 2, using 4 and 2, I can say negative 4x plus 2x, right? Okay, so now after this, I can split this into two parts. So from the first, I can factor out x and the remaining terms. Uh, or x minus 4 and also from the second part I can factor out 2 and the remaining terms for x minus 4 is equals to 0 and again I can factor out x minus 4 and the remaining terms or x plus 2 is equals to 0 so then uh, either x minus 4 is equals to 0 or x plus 2 is equals to 0 so from this x is equals to positive 4 and from this x is equals to negative 2 all right so now we have two answers all right now uh, with the log when we get two answers check your answers all right you need to check your answers uh, oh, let me go to the next page all right, so uh, we have x is equals to 4 and x is equals to negative 2, right? So we need to check our answers. So uh, here, uh, we first let's check x is equals to negative 2. So if x is equals to negative 2 from our original equation, our original equation is, is this one right here. So if x is equals to negative 2, then we will get log base 2 of negative 2 plus, well, there are remaining things. Let me write that later. But whenever you see this one first, log base 2 of negative 2. So if you remember, log of any negative number is always undefined. All right, so this automatically means this x is equals to negative 2 is not going to work. 
Okay, so that means x is is equals to positive four. So, so you need to explain this idea in the exam to get the four points. All right, you have to explain this idea. If you just say uh, x is equals to four and x is not equals to negative two, you won't get four points. You have to explain this idea why x is equals to negative two is is not going to work. All right. So the final answer is just x is equals to positive 4. Okay, so yeah, you need to know this idea uh, for, for this, this 6 uh, solving uh, logarithmic function, all right? Uh, this, is, this is it. Uh, like I said, uh, start working on on the on the review all right I, I think i'll still have one more videos and i think we'll be done for for this semester i, I won't have any more thing to cover after that uh so i will have still one more videos all right all right see you